Slow down! Howdy, miss. What are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. Uh, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. That's one. Last still. <laughs> Oh! 
This'll fetch a good price. Why not? I like watching a man eat his work. This is dirty. Oh, 
I'll be having that. Just ain't right. You saved my farm. May the Lord bless you. Sure makes a change for robbing and killing, ma'am. Deserted.
This is nasty. Mention it, friend. What have you got for me? Thank you.
That's the flower. That's more like it. Don't mention it. Looked like you needed some help. I'm tired of this. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend.
How you doing? of a magical miracle cure to all ailments that comes from the east. Apparently there's some merchant who sells it somewhere in New Austin. I heard about it from a farmer. He worked at Ridgewood Farm for a time and says he saw the effects with his own two eyes. He said if you drink it, you can shoot a fly a mile away and fight off an army of men. Gotta get me some of that tonic. Oh, yeah? Very interesting. I bet that one changes every time you tell it, partner. Goodbye. Come on. over with. This is a messy one. This quick. This will fetch a good price. Still. <laughs>
you ain't scared of cutting them fingers off, why don't we engage in a contest of speed? Hi. If you insist. Put some money up then. All right. Money's down, mister. That's the best you got. Cocksucker! Hello. How it is, Drew McFarlane half chopped his finger off and kept on playing. I wouldn't want to get in no knife fight with you, pard. Hi. I once saw a man cut his own pecker off trying a variation on this amusement. I thought we were trying to do this quickly. Louie! You'd hell? be in trouble if you cut your trigger finger off, wouldn't you? Hello to you. Hello. Get fucked. Help! Didn't see that coming, did you? Any other gluttons for punishment? Put down your dust. Let's do keep this. an eyeball on my blade. Hi. Good, but not good enough. Oh, no! Shit! God damn it! Watch this. Howdy. Hello to you. This is gonna be easier than I thought. You bunch of girls. Who's next? Hello. What's your bet then? His big mouth got him killed. I Hope you know what you're doing. Ain't drinking. That's the best you got. There you go. This is what you're up against. And you didn't even lose a finger. Armageddon! You ain't half bad. Hey, you! Wanna have a go? you put down let's put money on it I thought we were trying to do this quickly
Everything here is proudly made right here in the USA. Okay, I'm always in the market for interesting goods. A fine choice. Anything else I can do for you? Again. If a lender ever dares show his face in this establishment, I shoot. Jeb Murphy don't put his name to a gun here. Hello there. You surely won't regret a purchase. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? You've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. The people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Yeah. Survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Ridgewood Farm saw something. What 
kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just bored playing me. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more vultures up ahead. We best take a look, boys. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. All right, boys, let's have a look around. Shed's clear, Marshal. Come on. Slow down. No one here! Come on! Hey! There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Gonna have ourselves some fun. Right to the shed. Keep your head down. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Get out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Damn you.
You got anything interesting, friend? of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes man up boy we gotta get after those bandits follow me we can still catch them yeah Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Wait. Who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! We're down forward! We'll make our stand here.
shooting pants. Tell on. Bill he's a dead man. I see you, boy. Damn you, You shouldn't have fought so hard. Hey, look what I got here. This something makes you still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Missy. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Come on, let's get this over with. Still. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always bumping into the wrong people. <laughs>
You okay, lady? <laughs> My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. <laughs> but he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. <laughs> Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh, my God. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Let's go. Please, I'll do anything. Don't take me back to that man. Oh, my good Lord. Please get that man away from me. Uh, uh, hey, fella. Uh, <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> what in tarnation? Damn you all! Just stay calm. Ah, here we are. Come on!
This looks like fun. I could really use a hand, friend. I'm way over my head here. Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. Get you back home. 